So somebody's walking around with a mustache parakeet. I'm tripped out. Did he just walk in with a mustache parakeet and leave? I'm a kiss. George? Hello my fellow sniffers and welcome to my channel, especially for you newbies. Today we're gonna do something very, very strange. When I went to Petco with all my pets, do not forget to watch the video. They told me that they're having a Halloween costume party for reptiles. Really? How does one dress up a reptile? Wait a minute. This might be interesting. Now, of course, if my chameleon doesn't wanna go, my chameleon's not gonna go. By the way, I'm already very angry this morning because George promised me he was gonna make the costume, but no, I had to wake up and do it, and I am not one that sews. And this guy actually asked me this morning if I have a pattern for the costume. Like, a pattern. Oh, excuse me, a pattern? Okay, yeah, so now he's super gluing the eyes and I want you guys to check out my handiwork. No hassle sewing, <laughs> so don't judge. I had to do this really fast because we're late and I want to go to Bird Mart today. Not the one with my booth, I just want to go hang out, walk around and look at birds. How's my costume coming? Is it good? I'm trying to find the eyes. Here's my costume. She's gonna wear it. Ignore this side, I needed to draw it. This is my sewing, it's kind of no hassle, I just did it real fast. Sometimes I forgot to uh, you know, I went around instead of through. <laughs> what are you laughing at? It's a common problem with you. Whatever. So if George sewed this, it would have looked a lot different. If anything in the house happens that needs sewing, that's his job. Some crooked ass teeth, but it looks good. Whatever. Let's see if he's gonna wanna wear this. Go see if he'll wear it now. I, I gotta do this? Well, I'm gonna put it on the lizard? I don't think so. Aww. Our little sharky. You look cute. I think you made the mouth a little too big. <laughs> All right, guys, change of plans. So the chameleon did not like the costume. The chameleon was fine in it for a second, but in good conscience, I just don't think I could have taken her all the way down to Petco in it. And then one option was kind of like bringing her and then putting the costume on later, but I'm not a believer in like torturing animals for my videos. I just don't think it would have been the best thing for the chameleon, honestly. But good news is we're at Bird Mart. A Bird Mart in Orange County, we're very late. Yeah. We almost didn't make it, but we're here, so let's go see. I'm gonna make him pay severely for this. Severely. Oh my god, guys. Carolyn's here. She has no idea that I'm here. <laughs> oh my god, George needs to come back already because I want to like scare her. So it costs $10 to get in and they only take cash. No, come here, guess what? Come here, look. What? Carolyn's in there. She didn't see me. Really? She's here? But I waited for you to like go up behind oh, her. Hold on, hold on. Hide, oh. hide. We have to come up behind her. She can't like see us first. Okay, well, we need a... Here. Oh, no way! <laughs> like, what the hell? Who's filming here? And then I'm like, oh my god. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> There's like nothing going on in here. Seriously, right? I missed a uh, lizard costume party for this. Okay, well, I guess I'll go see what's entertaining in here. Let's make sure nobody has Picasso. <laughs> One Hi. thing. Hi. Right? Hi. I'm such a fan. Oh my god. <laughs> what's your name? Good year. Good year? Yeah. Nice <laughs> to meet you. Yay! Are you a sniffer? <laughs> yes. Do you have I a have bird? A Lurkits are insane. They're fun though, they're fun. They're the, the most fun. Hi beautiful. Are you beautiful? Look at you. So beautiful. Oh. Hi beautiful. Oh, you look tasty. What's up? What's your name? Jay. Jay? Did you find your uh, mustache? No, I didn't. I thought I'd come see if he's here by any chance. Got nice, nice birds in your shoe now. Thank so. you. Hi, Mama. Oh my God. Oh my God. You're so beautiful and silver. You're so silver with your big eyes. She's a female, guys. Hello. Oh my God. 
look, I can't. Look at this one being all naughty. These are from Lebanon. They're called Lebanon. Oh my god, they're sitting on their baby. So, I want to educate you on a little something. He's going to help me with this. Obviously, he breeds these birds. And you guys know all my birds are rescues, and we believe that if you have experience with birds, you want to adopt the ones that need homes. But he's going to tell us something amazing about birds that have been bred that are extinct, and because of breeders, we're able to release them into the wild again eventually. So tell me about that. Yeah, so pretty much you have birds that are going more extinct each year. The scarlet macaw, the military macaw. The military macaw has recently hit the lid. They're critically endangered and there's less and less of them in the wild because of deforestation, the pet trade, and also the natural predators. So you don't find, you know, militaries as babies. This one, she's only 10 months old. Same thing with a lot of these birds. When you breed a bird, you actually expand the species further on instead of pushing it closer to extinction. For example, take the Strix macaw. Since the movie Rio came out, it put the bird more on a radar. Everyone knows that the bird is more valuable. It has a high ticket on its head so you have poachers taking the babies killing them you know for feathers trapping them in illegal pet trading there are facilities around the world that breed them that's focusing on you know preserving them once you breed them then the species will survive as a whole the spix macaw they're extinct in the wild there was a hundred as of a few years ago there's zero now in the wild so it's not a bad thing to breed them i do encourage rescue there's a lot of birds that need homes a lot of people give up on them because they're pluckers they're chewers they're screamers they're aggressive i think a lot of people don't understand the importance of the fact that there's people that are able to preserve the birds that are becoming extinct we've been able to save a lot of them yeah take the african gray the african gray is the most sought after bird everybody wants them for their talking ability as of now they're getting harder and harder to produce so that's when you get people start smuggling and poaching these animals out of the wild to try to get them in other countries wait a minute you're saying i never thought of this before you're saying that if we don't breed them that's when people import them illegally and that's also what leads to deforestation Forestization. Yes. Interesting. I never thought of that. So, for example, when you have less captive bred offspring, there's going to be few of them. So, when you have few, you have poachers that go. The supply isn't there, but the demand is. So, we go and take these birds from Africa, put them in a, in, in a very tight shipping crate, cram them all in, and bring them here. We can make a bunch of money. So, every bird they take from the wild and put them in captivity, that's one less bloodline out in the wild to produce to preserve them all. I honestly never thought of it that way. But yeah, if there's an abundance of these birds here, then we're not going to go to Africa and South America and import them. Not necessarily importing, because importing in the U.S. have been outlawed in 1992, but they're being smuggled, where they put, them, they put cockatoos in two-liter bottles. I know, I know. They put hundreds of greys in small crates, and a good portion of those birds don't survive so that's less birds for the world you know for future generations it's better to breed them sense. and preserve them look at all these guys you know these guys are all happy they look great happy your birds look great hi yeah. And they're loving. You got a lot of loving birds. They're obviously getting a lot of attention. Oh no, look at trouble. I know trouble when I see trouble. Can you come to me? Yeah, of course. You don't like my camera? I trick you. I trick you. Look, hi. You're so beautiful with your little head. Mm. Yeah. What are you saying? Oh, I know you the camera it's a big one oh, i want to kiss you and love you and squeeze you there's that tongue i always talk about look he's trying to like look for nectar in my hand the powder's right here little guy look at you so somebody's walking around with a mustache parakeet. I'm tripped out. I'm sure it's not Picasso, but I want to see. George went up to him. Let me ask him. What did you say? I don't want to go over there and be a creeper, but I still want to meet him. I just asked him, what's, oh, he's a pretty bird. What, what's his name? And he said Charlie. But, but I can tell, like, his chest is like... It's not Picasso. You no, know, it's a different chest. But I still want to see it. He's cute. The guy nice? He didn't really respond. Like, as soon as I was talking to him, he, like, turned around and... Walked around the other direction. Oh my god, somebody has a mustache parakeet on their shoulder. It's not Picasso. Right? It's not Picasso, George says, but like, I want to go see it and meet it. Let's go. Oh, look at the fluffy toucan. 
Dude, George was like, yeah, it's not Picasso. Not that I'm going to accuse anyone of a mustache parakeet, but... Why is this guy not here anymore? Did he just walk in with a mustache parakeet and leave? And it's like, I would have loved to have met one and cuddled one. Well, we might run into him. It's so small here. It's small because they're competing with another day in Arizona. Oh my god. Pigeons. These are like cockatoo pigeons. Oh my <laughs> There's some really cute birds here, guys. I don't see them. Guys, look at this. Wow. Look at those feathers. I can't believe I never found the mustache parakeet guy up close. The guy at that booth over there, he knew me, and he was like, I'm sorry about your mustache parakeet. And he's like, I've been looking. Everyone's been looking. That guy with the cute eyes? <laughs> Right here? Yeah. 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 Hey guys, all the promoters here don't want to be on camera, but you gotta come out to this bird mart. It's small, but if you guys keep coming out, it'll grow. And we can promote responsible parrot companionship. Oh my god, look at all these amazing toys. That's a good toy. Oh my god. How long did this take you to make? A little while. That's probably the one and only time you made that, right? No, I made quite a few. Of them. How would it be worth the effort? Like this for the price? Like that would be so many hours of work. Oh, this is you. nice. Oh, oh my god, amazing it's toys. It's all just little puzzles. Amazing like, toys. Right? Guys. Her last name is really Bird, and she made all, this is like, have you guys ever seen the episode of, um, what do you call it, emergency care, where they actually say that people's last names detect the emergency they're gonna have? Like, yeah, like, people have had all sorts of emergencies, like, pole man, and they got, like, a pole stuck through them. That was a bad example, but, like, spear, and they got a spear, spears, stuff like that, yeah. This is amazing. This, guys, is Beak Busters. Beak Busters. Do you guys go to the Pomona Bird Mart? Yes, we do. Yay, they're gonna be at Pomona. Pomona. I'm gonna have a booth there too. Oh, cool. A big YouTuber booth. Yay, Pomona! So yes, at Pomona oh, Bird cool. Mart, I'm gonna open the silver play Yay. button. Yay! Button. Oh my God, this is gonna be so exciting. <laughs> did you fall in love with any birds? I did, she's over there. Show me. Hi. Hi. He's in love with me. I'm such a macaw person. Yeah. Hello. He chooses people. Hi. No. no. Damn. You're a macaw person. I'm like, I'm like an African gray person. What? Like what bird? Like, you see up there? There's always flyaways at these things. Where? Oh. Well, they're gonna get him down. He's in there. It's a conure? I don't know if that's a good idea throwing no. that broom up there. I don't think so. All right, so they're trying to get this bird down, and it's like disturbing me. I don't know. It's like get a ladder and get him down. Don't terrorize him more. That bird's not coming down, right? What would you do? I leave it until it gets. That's what she wanted. The paparazzi to be on her all day. <laughs> she makes one comment, and we're like, tell us more. <laughs> okay, they're gonna come back and get him tomorrow. If I didn't take him home first. <laughs> what are you doing, George? Kissing all the birdies? Yeah. One of your friends looks like <laughs> Jenna's boyfriend. I'm not no kidding. Way. Nah. You'll see, you'll see. Carolyn just asked me if George finished the stand for Rocky and he finished it, but he's still got to change out something. And she goes, see, trust your guy. And I'm like, <laughs> It's not you ready guys. yet. I we love you, love you too. <laughs> Bye. Guys, come to Pomona Bird Mart. Yes. Yay. I'm open her silver play button. Yes. And you will have red carpet and everything? Yeah, I have a little plastic red carpet. But I have a big backdrop with a step and repeat. Yeah. You're all set. Yeah, I'm all set. This is a girl on fire. And she's even a dreamer and a doer. Exactly. I love that. We're going to have a cake. Gluten free? No, but I won't be able to eat it. Jenna's going to make me um, gluten free brownies. But for everybody else, a normal cake. Yeah. Yay! Yay! He's getting a new home! Oh my gosh, congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the paparazzi's all over you now. <laughs> Can you get this off my finger? I fell for it. Come on, let's go. The five decker? It's fun to touch them. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh my god. So here's the situation with a bird that's up there because I don't want to leave you guys not knowing. Maynard works here. He's going to keep an eye out and we're going to get one of the vendors, actually Jay, to leave some food. I'll leave you my number if you want to. Contact if, just, yeah. just in case. I mean, if the guy doesn't come back for him, I think the guy's going to come back. But if he doesn't, you can call me. So we're setting up something so that the bird can at least find some food. Maybe we could put it in here. I think on that table, probably best. Okay, we'll put something on this table so that when it comes down, he has food to eat. We're going to put food for you right here Aww. here's a little birdie soul that needs help and maybe making his great escape to my house <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> what do you have oh perfect okay let's show him see if he's interested look mama we're gonna put this for you is this where the table has to stay we can move it. maybe we could move it so that he sees it oh good <laughs> I hope you guys get him. Yeah. The last thing I want to do is leave a bird here by itself. They're going to turn the lights off and see if that helps him. I really want this bird to come down. I know. All right. I left you some food and water. We left him food and water. I did that. That was all me. What about us? But he's going to watch out for the bird, right? Yes. You know what? Pay attention to see if the seeds are actually getting eaten up. If you see like leftover seeds all around. Maybe it came down. He came down and he ate. Good call. It's closing time. Thank you for watching this episode and coming with me to this very special Orange County Bird Mart. Do not forget to come out to Pomona Bird Mart. It's a big one on November 25th. I'm so excited to see you there. One more thing, guys. This is a small bird mart, but it's important to go out and support your fellow bird vendors. There's toys, there's cages, there's vitamins, supplements. You can learn a lot and you can see a lot that you've never gotten to see. So always go out and support the bird world because we need it. We need it, guys. I love you. Bye. So beautiful.